we got here with Dr Dave. As a biologist, I look at a woodland and I see habitat for animals, native plants. But from an Indigenous perspective, this place is more like a supermarket that's been providing for the needs of Indigenous Australians for thousands of years. So this plant here is a drooping she-oak, uh, quite an important food plant for the glossy black cockatoo, one of the rarer species of parrot that you get in box gum grassy woodlands. But from an, an Indigenous point of view, this is a very useful plant for making handles, handles for stone axes. So think about that the next time you see a casuarina. Oh, what have we got here? Right here, we've got some ruby saltbush. And I don't know if you can see them, but they've got these little colourful fruit here, pink and red fruit, very sweet. And they were used not just as a snack, but as a dye, bright pink in colour. One of my favourite treats when I'm in the bush. Mm. So right here, we've got some silver wattle. And silver wattle was a really useful plant for Indigenous Australians. They used the seeds as a protein-rich uh, food source, ground them up as Johnny Cakes. They used the resin as an all-purpose adhesive, the bark as a fibre, even as a fish poison to catch fish in the rivers. Truly a supermarket in one plant. So this wattle right here is currawang, a tall, straight-growing wattle as you get on rocky ridges, and that was an Indigenous people's first choice for spears. Ah, so here we've got Kwandong. Now this, this native plant is a parasitic plant, a bit like mistletoe, but it latches onto other plants below ground. These fruits here turn bright red when they're ripe, very tasty, very sweet. You can even make jam from them. And right here we've got Cat's Claw Grevillea, quite an attractive plant with these woolly leaves and abundant orange flowers, full of nectar. Dip it in water, shake it around, and hey presto, a beautiful sweet drink. These big tussocks of grass here are kangaroo grass, one of the tallest native grasses you get in box gum grassy woodlands and a really important microhabitat for things like legless lizards, dunarts, and a range of seed-eating birds like diamond firetails. Indigenous people were well, very familiar with this plant. Uh, the fibres in the leaves and the stems made very strong string, which, when knotted together, made a very handy fishing net. What have we got here with Dr Dave?